Hello and welcome. Today, June 21st, is National Indigenous Awareness Day and it's a day to celebrate, honour and acknowledge the First Nations, Inuit and Métis ancestors of these lands upon which we now live. Although these diverse groups share many similarities, they each have their own distinct heritage, culture, language and spiritual beliefs. Today, in addition to celebrating these peoples, we also remember the pain and brokenness caused by settlers and we repent the sins of colonization. Long before Europeans landed on these shores upon which we now gather, the original inhabitants of this land, sometimes known as Turtle Island, took seriously the Creator's call to be stewards of air, land, water and creature. This morning we pray our thanks for their conservancy. We exist in this place because of the lessons they continue to teach. And so we acknowledge these lands and these peoples. At a time when racism storms around us, a land acknowledgement is only the beginning of our confession to the wrongs that white Canada has been a part of for too long. May this acknowledgement spoken now be a step toward reconciliation. Today we recognize that here we are gathered on the traditional territory of the First Nations, including the Odawa and Anishinaabek. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties, specifically the Huron Tract Crown Treaty No. 29. May we acknowledge that our gain has come at a great cost to these peoples. Our words of confession are just the beginning and must be followed up with action. We must challenge prejudice in ourselves, in our families and in our friends. Nothing will ever change unless we become a part of that change. May it be so. And so we light a candle to remind us that prior to our arrival on this land, prior to the arrival of the Indigenous people, and prior to the very formation of this land, that there was light. There was divine light, and that light was good. And that light will continue to shine, and will always shine. And now, let us pray. Creator God, Great Spirit, we pray our thanks for the opportunity to gather in this sacred space. Here we are most aware of the gift of wind and the four directions from which it comes. Here we are most aware of the gift of sun and the four directions from which it comes. Here we are most aware of the gift of humanity and the four directions in which we exist. Here we are most aware of the gift of creation and the four directions which support our living, breathing and being. This day we pray thanksgiving for the First Nations, Inuit and Métis people of Canada, and we commit ourselves to be people of reconciliation in the tradition of our beloved Jesus, in whom we pray. Amen. I invite you now to scroll down and listen to the next video, which is an all-female Native American drumming group called Ulali, as they play the Mach G, which is the heartbeat song. After that video, please rejoin me and we have a special interview with a local congregant regarding her experiences with the Inuit people.